Hi y'all, it's Jess and welcome to my YouTube channel. I have been so excited to film this video for a few days since I got my box in the mail and I've just been having to hold on to it, which has been a lesson in patience because I haven't peeked. I, you know, this will be the first time that I have opened it up and I am so, so excited. Um, so as I kind of noted in my very first video, I have been doing way too much online shopping with everything going on because I'm stuck inside so I can't go to the mall with my friends as many of you I'm sure can relate um, and as a result I'm just on my couch on my days off shopping. It's terrible. I'm trying to find some other hobbies because it's it's not good. It's not, it's not a good thing. But I made some new subscriptions as I kind of noted previously. One of those was to FabFitFun and another was to Causebox because I was really indecisive and I couldn't pick between the two. They both seemed right up my alley and were things that I was really interested in, in subscribing to. So I figured I'd let you learn from my mistakes um, and I will be spending the next year at least with both companies and seeing which I like better and knowing me, I may reach the end of this next year and decide that I really like them both and continue subscribing to both. Who knows? But that's kind of what I'm really looking forward to figuring out. So I didn't talk a lot about FabFitFun, you know, their products, their price points, anything like that in my first video because I was just so excited. I will talk about Cosbox. So the thing with Cosbox, it's a company that's actually made by women, which I find really exciting. And I love that. I, I love women-based companies. I just think that that's something that, you know, we should really all be pushing for. Um, but they are all about um, products that are socially conscious and having really thoughtful consumption. So I did write down some things from their website, but basically their whole mission is that they believe that every product should be purposefully ethically and sustainably made. So what that means is that, you know, they they pick products that aren't damaging to the environment and sometimes come from countries that, you know, this product helps create jobs. So I think that's really amazing and I, I believe in that wholeheartedly. So just the price points, um, it's at the beginning of each season. So it's seasonal and quarterly, so about every three months is when you'll get a box. This is my first one and it's actually the welcome box. I was way too, I was I was just a little bit too late. Uh, their spring box actually sold out. So I didn't, didn't get to, to get that one, which is sad, but I am really excited because I was able to reserve my welcome box. But if you pay quarterly, it's $54.95 every quarter for each box. And then there's a little bit of a discount if you pay up front for the whole year, which is what I did because I'm glutton for punishment. And that one is $199.80. So just 20 cents under $200. So definitely not inexpensive, which is kind of why I had held off. I've been, I didn't know about Cosbox until recently, but I had wanted to do FabFitFun for a while. I had seen the ads in my social media and finally just bit the bullet recently on both of them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but if you do pay annually, the nice thing is that as a perk, you can personalize your box by, they, they have some customization options. So you can choose a few items. I don't remember if it let me choose custom items for Causebox. I, I just don't for their welcome box, I'm not sure. Um, and I don't, if there were picks, I don't remember what they were. So <laughs> it's a surprise for both of us. But I really like the idea of subscription boxes just because it's kind of like getting a little gift in the mail. And, you know, for me, I'm over a thousand miles away from my family back home. So it's, I'm, I'm kind of all, all alone up here. Not all alone, I have friends, but it's different whenever you're Far away from family. So with that being said, it's kind of nice to get little care packages, even if they're from me. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna 
toss that away because we don't need that anymore and get into the unboxing. So this is Cosbox. I am super excited. I think the box is beautiful. I talked about this in my FabFitFun unboxing, but I love the idea of using these as shadow boxes for yarn because I'm a little grandma <laughs> or <laughs> or really anything else if you want to use them for photos. Um, trying to think. Really, I'm excited to use them for yarn, if you can't tell. That's kind of where my brain goes to. But I did slice it open this time. Tried to learn from my first filming. <laughs> and let's see. I believe it opens this way. Yes, okay. So, ah, I don't know. It does something to me whenever I look in and it just has beautiful artwork. So, looks like first thing I'm pulling out is a $20 online store credit to Known Supply, which I, I don't actually know what that company is, but I'm excited. So there's that. And it looks like they also have a little magazine. I loved this one. The paper isn't glossy. I don't know. I have a thing about glossy pages. I'm not really a fan. So I'm actually super excited that this one is more just it's just paper, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to guess that similar to FabFitFun that this magazine talks a little bit about the products in the box. So I'm not gonna go over that, but it has this cute little sticker. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's a cute little sticker. I don't wanna rip it. I have a problem with this. I'm not, eh, I get scared of ripping pretty things. I don't want to destroy it. Okay, just gonna rip around the tissue paper. It's so pretty. Even the tissue paper is beautiful. I don't know if you can, yeah. You can see all the pretty designs. Okay, so, ooh. Okay, I think I do, I did get to choose this. So this is a duffel bag and they had a few different options they had one that was navy and they had one that was a gray stripe and they had this one which is like a burnt orange color which i love i had a really hard time picking between the gray stripe and the burnt orange duffel bag but i ended up going with the burnt orange just because i felt like it was more me and more my color scheme but this is beautiful. I really like this. It feels very sturdy. It's kind of a canvas material. So that's the duffel bag. And I'm super excited about this. Not that I can travel anywhere anytime soon. I wanted to take a road trip next week because I have a week off work and I was hoping to see my brother. And I don't know if that's gonna happen anymore just because the state that he lives in isn't accepting visitors right now, I don't think. Or you're supposed to quarantine for, I think, two weeks, which is understandable. But I haven't seen anyone in a long time other than my coworkers. So, help. Anyway, so this is the duffel bag. It has a cute little side pocket and a strap to hang over your shoulder. So I am very excited about that. That is beautiful. And it looks like the next thing, I like that there's not a lot of wasted space. And I don't, you can't really see very well, I don't think, but there's not a whole lot of packaging to throw away, which I really like. Next thing is this Swell water bottle. Ooh, okay. Red's not really my color, but that's okay. I can dig it. So I do like that it's, it's very sturdy. So that's exciting. It's red. I don't know, I'm not really a red fan, but it's a water bottle, so yes. Let's see. So it says, the only bottles that look great and do good. Thermoswell technology keeps drinks cold for 24 hours, hot drinks for 12. Swell is proud to support charity partners to bring clean water to the world's poorest communities and protect our shared environment. Cool. Okay, and I'm just kind of wondering, I don't know, 
kind of what I was noting about the packaging that I like that this box doesn't have a lot of wasted space and a lot of wasted packaging in it. I always kind of wonder just even the boxes that things come in if they are recyclable, recyclable, <laughs> I can say that, <laughs> materials. So I've been kind of looking on this. I'm not seeing that anything that says it was made out of recycled materials or that it's recyclable, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything either. So we will put that right there and I will invest my life in loving the color red now. <laughs> so anyway, oh, there's this cute little card. I love that. So this is, it's a postcard that I can send to my family since I never get to see them anymore. Haha. <laughs> so that's really cute. And let's see, next it looks like there's this, okay, I'm gonna take it out of the package so that you can actually see it the way it's meant to be seen. But it's a necklace and it's handmade in Colombia. Um, it's handmade in Colombia, so this necklace was proudly and ethically made by members of a vulnerable population in Medellin. I hope I said that right in safe working conditions and compensated justly under a fair payment policy for labor. So it looks like this and that's very pretty. So I'm thinking gold jewelry is kind of the thing with these boxes. So I am learning to like it. Um, it's not that I don't like gold jewelry. I just don't always love it on me. It's not the, like, I just wear a lot of silver jewelry. I feel like most people either know by my age whether gold or silver jewelry looks best on them so for me it tends to be silver but I do really love the necklace that I got in my cause box so or in my fab fit fun box and this this is very pretty so I am trying to make it work with certain outfits so next it looks like there is this rosemary ooh, rosemary mint hand repair cream which is wonderful because I'm running out of hand cream and I didn't want to buy more. <laughs> so, okay, I can't smell it. That's because it has a seal on it. So where we're at, I would imagine it probably smells good. Oh yeah, that smells good. It smells like rosemary mint. So the, uh, the label does not lie. Ooh, I really like that. It's definitely stronger once it's on, but I do like that. So I'm super excited about this. And what it says is that it's repair and, okay, well, it just says, repair and restore with natural and organic ingredients crafted with shea butter, cocoa butter, and organic aloe to hydrate, nourish, and protect for soft, smooth, and hydrated hands. So I like that. I don't know where it was made or anything, but it's by the brand Sensuals. And it says natural and organic care underneath, or natural and organic skincare, pardon me, right underneath that. So pretty excited about that. And looks like these, ooh, oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's from the brand Artisan Direct and they are, it's a sustainable grocery starter kit and it's a set of five and they're 100% cotton and they're artisan made in India. I hope I'm saying that right. Artisan? Artisan? I don't... Anyway, um, I like these. So I've actually heard of these and the goal is that you have grocery bags that are for your produce or even just your, your regular groceries. I did buy some recently actually, but I'm really pumped about these. I like that they're I just love that they're kind of natural looking, which I think is kind of the point, but it looks like they have some different sizes. I feel bad, I just bought produce today. My grocery stores aren't letting us use our own bags, which is kind of unfortunate. I mean, I get it, but it's, I'm excited for the days when I can use them again, but I love that. So there are five bags and then two of them are more of a solid cloth material, and then three of them are more of a mesh material. So I'm actually super excited for those. So yeah, pumped. 
and then oh there are two more things in this box okay so this one is from the brand earth harbor and it's called aqua aura reparative eye cream neato so it's made out of seaweed collagen and blue tansy i don't know what tansy is but it says it's let's see purely natural ethical sea-based non-toxic cruelty free vegan no synthetics no gluten no gmos no soy um woman owned wonderful fair trade small batch handmade by mermaids i don't i don't i'm questioning the mermaids part but i like it so i'm excited about that i'm not gonna put this on right now but i kind of want to smell it i do really like smelling things i'm not gonna lie Ooh, it's pretty it's green i don't know i wasn't expecting that so and it i can't place it but it smells good <laughs> it smells it's not minty exactly i don't know it's i mean it smells good i'm excited it looks kind of foamy too inside like i don't know I'm excited though. It says dive into glowing skin on the inside and then hashtag earth harbor. So I will have to try that. I've been really into skincare products lately. Um, I've been more into skincare probably in the last, probably starting my last year of college, I would say that I started really caring about caring for my skin. And in the last six months, I've just been finding myself more and more passionate about skincare and moisturizing because for the long, I, I do have oilier skin. So I feel like the natural instinct with that is that you don't want to put on moisturizer, but I did. And anyway, I've gotten into it and now I really like having glowy looking kind of dewy skin. I just also carry around blotting sheets. It's a good time. But anyway, that's off the wall. Next, it looks like this is, let's see. So it says, we are in love with the beauty and simplicity of handmade textiles. Each one of our products celebrates age old techniques of dyeing, weaving, and sewing that have endured the test of time. Well, I love handmade things, always. That's one of my things is that, you know, with my crochet, um, for the most part, I make blankets. That's the number one thing that I make. Blankets and then scarves would probably be second in that. And most of my blankets go to other people. I've made two blankets that I've kept for myself. And it's it's just such a wonderful thing to be able to make something that's homemade and handmade and beautiful and to be able to give that to someone because there's so much time and love that goes into that product. I'm calling this a product, but you know, into that gift. So I love handmade things. So that's very special to me. But it says, this haiku scarf was made by weavers from South India. Hand loomed cotton from this region has been used for over 500 years to make absorbent towels and saris with rich texture. Texture, I can speak. We've paired this time-tested fabric with a timeless design. We hope you love it. So this is a scarf. I'm super excited. It's really pretty. I did choose this one. So I think they had one that was, I want to say black and white. And then they had this one, which is blue. And I really love blue. As you can see, I really love blue. And let's see. This is beautiful. I'm going to open this up for you. It's very lightweight too. I love that. Ooh, it's big. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. My hip just cracked. <laughs> so, I love that it has kind of that dark blue edging. And that's just so pretty. So, you could wear this in a few different ways. For me, I'd probably just either wear it like that or tie it. Or I could even tie, like, my hair up in it. So... It might be a little long for work because I don't want to get it in anything, but that's super pretty. I love that. So those are the products. I am really pleased with my first cause box. I will say the only thing that I don't, and it's not even, it's not even the product itself. It's something petty, which is the color. I don't really like red. 
but it's fine. I might give it as a gift to my brother or one of my friends who does really like red. So it all works out. And I lost my clicker. I dropped it on the floor. So that's good. Oh, it's on the ground. It's underneath my table. That's excellent. One moment. Okay. All right. I'm way too old for that. Okay. So thank you for joining my very first Causebox unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully I told you, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could tell you about it, but I'm really pleased with this. I like the products that I got. I like that they're ethically made and I love that it exposes me to products from different areas of the world because I live, I don't want to say in a very bland state right now because <laughs> that's rude, but it's very homogenized here I'll just say so yes anyway thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you're all going to have a wonderful day or are having a wonderful day and thank you for watching bye